Yo, can someone check on my boy Shelfie because they just released a 96 Ryan Howard and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, he don't look very good. Now, I say he doesn't look very good because on the same day that they released him, a 97 Mike Napoli came out with a first baseman secondary. He's way better than Ryan Howard. Also, this Cedric Mullins completely overshadows anything that has to do with Ryan Howard. I mean, the Home Run Derby is in six days. Why would they do this? They should have had a Home Run Derby collection for Ryan Howard and Justin Morneau. I mean, this is a complete waste of a Ryan Howard card, in my opinion. All right, so we're going to stop being negative. We're going to put 96 Ryan Howard at first base. We have Chase Utley at second, and then we have the brand new Xander Bogarts, just because I didn't have time to debut him. So we're going to use a couple different new cards, and we're going to go with the Doc as our starting pitcher, because it's kind of a Phillies team build. Okay, oh, come on. Why? I'm going to send this dude a friendly quit. I want to make sure that I rake with Ryan Howard, and I was about to say, hopefully we don't face a lefty, and Dallas Keuchel is staring me right in my freaking face. Also, I forgot to change my uniforms to Philly, so I'm going to confirm this friendly quit, and if he does not accept it, I'm just going to... Thank you. I was about to quit anyways. Okay, attempt number two, and yet again, we have another lefty. This is absolutely unreal. Why does this keep happening? Okay, I'm going to send another friendly quit, because I, I just do not want to... All right, we're staying in this game. Screw it. That is a base hit for Alfonso Soriano, even though he just had a dolphin dive from Black Ops 1. I have no idea how he was able to stop that baseball. All right, here we go. Ryan Howard coming up against a lefty. He has 70 contact versus lefties, so this is not going to be fun. Oh, wow, we got it to a three ball count. Three and two. I'm going to try and steal this base as well because he's going to go sinker. Oh, my. Okay, this is absolutely... I'm going home. I don't even care. 87 speed is going to be enough. Ryan Howard against a lefty is getting an RBI double. What a fantastic start to this ball game. Okay, um, I'm going to go to... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm... I'm safe. Okay, we advance the runner, which is not the greatest thing in the world considering now we have two outs. Let's see if we can get one more run. Look at Doc. Look at Roy Holiday starting off the bottom half of the first with the strikeout. I love to see it. Nice. Nice. Doc. Looks unstoppable right now. Oh, my dude. Okay, if, if, if you're going to press pause one more time, I'm going to find out where you live, and I'm, gonna... I'm not going to do anything because Ryan Howard is going to scoop this baseball. He's going to tag first base. That's a 1-2-3 inning for the Doc. And I think he just quit. I don't know what just happened, but I think he just quit. Okay, so we are jumping into another one. Ooh, we are facing a parallel for Bobby Miller. If you guys are familiar with the channel, I struggle against that Miller card, so this could be a fun matchup. My opponent is 29 and 8, so he is nice on the sticks. And I do want to let you guys know, this is not a ranked seasons game. This is an event game. Come on, Xander. Come on, 90 speed. Don't botch this. Yo, he actually looked kind of nice over there. I thought for a second he was going to stumble and fumble like Xander sometimes does in real life. That was solid. Okay, Eduardo Escobar is trying to take Randy Johnson the other way from Apo Taco, but Clemente, he's, he's got it. Mm, come on, Ryan, Ryan. All right, throw out Jordan. I really wish that Jordan wasn't injured, by the way, but that is another 1-2-3 inning. Hopefully, this person doesn't quit, though. Attaboy, Pete Crow Armstrong. This card, okay, I don't know if I'll be able to actually take him out of my lineup because I talk about him every single time he plays that he's a cheat code. I take him out for some reason, and then he's back in and does something like that. Oh, wow. He, he knew I was going. I don't know how he was able to predict exactly what was about to happen, but he did it. He, that's good. That's smart baseball. Nice. Xander Bogarts with the perfect, perfect. <laughs> I think Jordan is in left field. Yeah, Jordan is in left field for my opponent. He completely misses it, and we get a free double. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, that had to be it. That is the pitch that I have to mash, especially with Ryan Howard. Now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. Nope. Do not swing at that. Okay, I, I should never complain about foul balls for the rest of the year if this game is going to bail me out like that. Come on, what do I... Okay, keep it moving. I'm showing you this entire at-bat because I want to prove to you guys that I can be decent. Oh, no, I'm not going to swing at that one either. Come on, throw a strike to Ryan Howard. I don't know if he's going to go inside or low. Uh... Yes! Come on, Ryan! Come on, get over! Yes! Wait... Yes, Ryan Howard is two for two in today's video. That had to be at least an eight or nine pitch at bat. 435, 106 off the bat, a two run ding dong. Ah, this has been great. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I haven't played this game in a few days and maybe that's been good 
and as soon as I open my dumb mouth, I do that. But I would recommend if you are struggling or not having fun with MLB The Show, go outside, touch grass a little bit, and then come back in a few days because you might have more fun now that you're refreshed. Xander, oh man, I thought maybe for a second we were gonna be able to kind of commando our way back to that. If you don't know what commando is, it was a perk back in the day where you could just lunge and kill people in Call of Duty. <laughs> I, I seriously don't know who made this Raphael Devers card or if his attributes are a lie. There's absolutely no chance his attributes match up how he performs in the game itself. Like he is pretty much maxed out everything. Now granted, that wasn't the best pitch in the world. That was a hanging slider kind of right in the sweet spot for lefties. But still, if anyone has hurt me most often in 2022, it's Raphael Devers. And because I am a little man with a little brain i'm going to try one more time the slider inside see that's what i was going for i thought he was going to be swinging out of his cleats with rafi but apparently he thought of what i can't speak just just get out i haven't played events in i think a year or two and i already feel stressed out this is why i don't play br this is why i don't play events i just stick to ranked seasons but maybe i should maybe i should start having more fun and trying to go 12 and 0 and playing events every so often like maybe I should start doing that on stream or something, I don't know. Okay, so my guy is trying very, very hard. All the, wait, it's a three inning game. He's not trying hard at all. That's smart to bring in a relief pitcher. Look at Roberto. So I'm pretty sure this is on all-star difficulty because that ball should have, yeah, no, that went way too far. Nice, ooh, ooh, okay, all right. Well, I did miss that baseball, so I am not, I'm not too sad about that result. And okay, so in that inning, we didn't have the worst at bats in the world. We put up some pretty good swings, but PCI has got to be better. We are going to the top of the third. It's going to be a close finish. Who is that? Jose Altuve. Okay, I'm leaving in Randy Johnson. I want more parallel points, even though he's parallel five. Actually, you know what? No, I, I want to get Jorge Lopez some parallel points, and I was really bad with him in his debut. So let's throw that outlier sinker a little bit more often, huh? Oh my. Ryan, this is where you have to show off and prove the haters wrong. I mean, I can't be too upset because statistically, this is very bad. Um, okay, we got to turn two. We're going to give up the lead. I probably could have gone home, but I think I have more faith in me scoring a run in the bottom half than throwing it home and not getting any outs because of it. Well, Jordan is going to hit it the other way. That's probably going to be a ground rule double. But what I was going to say is Ryan Howard is never going to make a play like that over at first base, which is really terrible because you have to factor in his contact versus lefties as well. Like he's almost unusable on Hall of Fame. But it does make sense. He, Pete Alonso, a couple other first basemen like Adam Dunn, they're some of the worst defensive first basemen in the history of baseball. So it's fine that he can't get to every single baseball. Like he's not a human vacuum. That is a tie ball game. Nolan Gorman with his 110 contact, 114 power. He ties it up on the first pitch that we see. I don't know if Nolan Gorman is just a cheat code or if this Jorge Lopez card is completely terrible. Okay, I, I, that, that was a contact swing. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I do not want anyone to walk it off unless it's Ryan Howard. Ooh, I, he dove completely over the baseball. That is, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that. That is about the worst thing that could have possibly happened. Because one, I don't want to play this game more. I don't, going into extra sounds like a miserable time. And now we're doing that. Um, Soriano is going to make this play. He is fantastic whether he's in left field, in center field. No matter where Soriano is at, he is dependable defensively. Awesome. Mm, see, that is where having the corners in is really going to hurt you. Especially when Ryan Howard isn't good defensively. He's never, ever going to lay out and get that ball. Man, this is the first time that Bruce has been uh, has been roughed up when I'm using him. But this is all-star difficulty. That's Kyle Schwarber. I, I can't be too upset. Okay, well, um, maybe Bruce is not that great on Hall of um, all-star difficulty because on Hall of Fame he's untouchable. Okay, all right. Well, I'm not gonna get the double play, but that is two outs. Nice, George. George, the human vacuum. See, Ryan Howard. He only wishes he could do 50% of that. All right, well, Kyle Schwarber goes the other way for a no doubt Oppo Taco. We are down by three. I want to make this comeback. So my man's just brought in Raleigh Fingers. Who do we have at second base? We have Ryan Howard at second base. I'm going to turn on this inside pitch. That was not an inside pitch. Ooh, I mean, I missed that ball. Is that actually going to go to the warning track? 
Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna go because I want to have runners in scoring position, but that went farther than I thought. There we go, that is a base hit to the left side. So we have the tying run coming up to the dish. I would love to hit a no doubt shot right here. Okay, that was a perfect fork ball. I'm gonna put the runner at first in motion. I'm swinging. Okay, I think I just tied it either way. I, I'm definitely hitting a game tying home run. Brian Reynolds is not catching this. Look at Roberto Clemente tying the game up in the bottom of the fourth. That's huge. All right, I'm gonna go to uh, Mr. Zach Britton because the thing about events is you can't have a very high overall team, so I had to sacrifice bullpen arms. Okay. See, that's, that's the problem with Ryan Howard. He took his sweet time throwing it to home, and when you have fast runners, you're gonna pay for that. Yep, all right, there we go. Time to uh, actually walk this game off. I'm, I mean, win it. I'm not tying it, I'm winning it. I, okay, so I advanced the runner. I'm not going to pull what my opponent did and try and send 87 speed home because Kyle Schwarber has a pretty good arm. So we just have to put it in play now. I mean, that's, that is probably the worst pitch that you can throw to someone who has been locked in on the fastball all day. So I just want to bloop this one like that. Like that. Absolutely perfect placement. P. Crow Armstrong is not fair. Oh, no. Dude, you're supposed to hit it, Xander. Dang it! Oh my... Dude, I, I don't want to play anymore. I mean, at this point, I might have just played a ranked seasons game. This is ridiculous. Sick. That is a fantastic uh, web gem, Mr. Kenley Jansen. Why did you... So what I was going to say is, why did he throw it to the cutoff man when I threw it to first base? So I guess... Oh, uh, Jordan, he's got a cannon. Get, that's only 54 speed. You better toss it. Okay, we take our time here. Excuse you. Excuse you. He knows that there's only one out, right? Come on, Roberto. That's that's enough. I have the strength. I have the strength. Oh, he's safe. By a toenail, probably. Oh, my. You got to be joking. All right, go to third base so Clemente can throw you out. Okay, just... What is with the fielders taking their time today? Okay, all right. Well, let, let's win this game. Or not. Um... I, um... Okay, all right. I had no idea why my opponent just quit, but three RBIs for Ryan Howard. Now, I would recommend probably using Mike Napoli at first base over Ryan Howard. So this card is insane. I can't wait to debut him. Yu Darvish looks really good, even though the hits per nine are a little bit low. He's got the cutter, the sinker, and the splitter, so he is going to be nasty. And then this Cedric Mullins card, like I showed you guys in the intro, he might be the best card in the game, especially when you put him at left field because the arm 70 is kind of noodly. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you guys had a great time. Ryan Howard only goes for about 25,000 stubs, so if you want to try him out, cool. But I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't get a 99 Derby card or something like that. But thanks for watching. Take it easy.